Uh, the rain chance tomorrow really doesn't start to get going until the afternoon. So if you've got ceremonies or events that you're planning on attending, plan to bring the umbrella to you. You'll certainly need it. A lot to unpack weather wise uh, in that uh, block of news. Let's go back to that winter outlook that uh, guy was talking about. Yeah, we are looking at uh, a long term outlook over the next three months of a milder than average winter and also a drier than average winter. So if you're a snow lover, yeah, this isn't the best setup for, you know, a snowy winter at all. But as you know, as well as I do, we still get cold pockets and periods then. And if you can line that up with a good storm system coming in, you know, it could get a good pop of snow from a storm system. It just looks in long term that they will be fewer and farther between uh, as things stand right now. It's a La Nina year. It's the opposite of El Nino and what that typically means across the south in the winter time is that we often see uh, conditions that are warmer and a little bit drier than normal during those winter months. In the meantime, our numbers are coming up. We've got a good deck of clouds that have moved in uh, during the evening and overnight hours. Temperatures are largely in the 40s this morning, but have risen now to 50 degrees in Greensboro and 48 right now in Winston-Salem. Clouds are, are very temporary, will only last a couple of hours. In fact, the bulk of your Wednesday does look sunny with some clearing coming in out of the west. The next storm is starting to take shape will likely bring some wet weather in beginning with some prefrontal showers tomorrow afternoon. The bulk of the rain though comes through Thursday night may hang around a little bit into your Friday morning commute, but that uh, that possibility is looking a little bit more remote today than it was yesterday. Fortunately for all the fires that happened yesterday, our winds are variable today, so that should continue to help firefighting uh, efforts. Just the presence of excessive fuels for these fires on the ground this time of year with leaves and twigs that have fallen uh, from trees certainly does make it a little more of a volatile situation. I think today will feel a lot like yesterday did with high temperatures in the mid 70s this afternoon in the triad as well as the foothills. Clouds should begin to move out by mid morning and temperatures in the mountains up near 68 degrees today. We do have that cooler pocket of air coming in this weekend just kind of dipping down from the Great Lakes in the northeast should affect us through Saturday. After that temperatures begin to modify a bit. Uh, the flow of air uh, predominantly is from west to east that typically brings in typical temperatures for that time period. And so we're looking at highs in the 60s, maybe getting close to 70 uh, from time to time next week, but feeling pretty good out there after a chilly weekend. And it will be cool in Boone for homecoming. Yikes. During the game, temperatures close to 40, down into the 30s post game for your festivities. That is a 2.30 kickoff at Kid Brewer Stadium on Saturday afternoon. Temperatures start to increase after Tuesday of next week. But we're gonna have a couple of chilly mornings to deal with.